Hi guys, you can easily create a hover effect on a button, on any element actually, but let's show it on a button uh, by having a component and creating a variant to it, interacting between these two variants. So I'm selecting this component, uh, clicking the add variant, and then I have another variant and I will call it hover. You can change the name of the variant here. <clears throat> Sorry. And um, I'm going to change uh, something in the design of this button to see the hover effect. So I'm going to change the feel. Actually, I'll take this color and copy it and just paste it here. And I'll have the button more uh, in a dark green one. And I can also, if I want, let's say, change uh, this one, this color to white. Let's say I want to do something like that. And let's see how it looks. So all rest for me to do is select this button, hook it up to this one when I'm in the prototyping. And here, instead of on click, I'm going to select while hovering. Okay, I'm going to create a hover effect. Here in the animation, I'm going to choose, um, I guess I'll go for dissolve. Let's see how it looks. I guess it's going to look okay. And let's just place this button on a frame just to see how it looks and give it a play. So I put this button here. Let's say that you have some kind of a uh, form. Do a quick one, something like that. Um, yeah, something like 50 to 40 round corners. I'll give it the same structure as the button and I'll give it a stroke, something like that and a fill which will be something like that. Yeah, let's say you have a form and did a kind of like a really quick one, of course, with no names and not anything just to show the button. And I'll take a copy of this button. You can either um, take the Alt, uh, press the Alt or the Option in Mac and just drag it to this frame or just copy and paste it. So I'm gonna have something like that. And for now, I'm gonna just hit the play and let's see how it works. Perfect. Okay, so it works really nice. That looks good. So that's an easy hover effect on a button. I'll show another quick example. Um, let's do something with animation. So I have this one, actually, um, this button already made. It's a component. And I have these two icons, which this one, the glasses are here. I'll show you where it's going to be here. I just put it on top, but because any component is a frame and it, and it has a clip content, so that means that it hides the items which are outside of it. So I can animate between out and in in this icon. So I place this icon here. I'm going to add variant to this button and I'll just select here the other variants. I'll select the second one, which is this one. And then I'm going to make this color. Let's do it a bit darker, something like maybe something like that. And that's about it. So we're going to hook it up as well um, while hovering. And I'm going to select now smart animate so I can smart animate on a hover effect as well. Of course, I mean, I can do any kind of animation I want. 300 milliseconds. Uh, yeah, I guess that's okay. And let's just copy. And I'll put here paste to replace. I'm replacing this button with this one. And let's give it a play and see how it works. Perfect. <laughs> works really nice. Let's even make it bigger to see it better. <laughs> nice. Okay, guys, so that's about it. A really short one uh, just to show in a really quick way how to do a hover effect on a button. Thanks a lot. See you in the next one.